In this video, I'll show you how to solve equations containing rational exponents greater than 2. Let's start with a. Here we are expected to solve x to the power of 3 is equal to 7. To do this, we will have to cube root both sides. If we cube root the left side, we end up with x. And on the right side, we have the cube root of 7. And we will use our calculator to evaluate this. Here's how. On your calculator, you find a symbol that looks like this. And to access this symbol, you'll click Shift and that button. You put in your index and you put in your radicand. Ours is 7 and I end up with 1.91. So approximately 1.91. Let's try B. In B, we have three terms this time, unlike in A where we had two terms. Notice that this 6 and this 18 are both like terms, so they need to be combined before we do anything else. I'm going to bring the 6 over, and that gives me 3x to the power of 4 is equal to 18 minus 6. The right side becomes 12. The left side stays at 3x to the power of 4. Now, before I can get to this x, I need to get rid of this 3. So I'm going to divide both sides by 3. 3 divided by 3 becomes 1. So I will erase this because it ultimately becomes 1. And on the right side, this 12 and this 3, they divide equally into 4. So now we have x to the power of 4 is equal to 4. We can do the same thing as we did above. We can take the fourth root of both sides. And if I take the fourth root of this side, I end up with simply x. And the fourth root of 4, once again, shift this button. Try to find it on your calculator. The fourth root of 4 gives us 1.41. 1.41. Now, if you don't have a calculator and you want to find out what 1.41 is, what you can do is you can convert x to the power of 4 as x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Now, we all know what the square root of a square term is. If I take the square root of the left side, that 2 and this square root symbol disappear. And of course, you have to do the same thing on the right side, where you would convert this 4 into 2 to the power of 2. So taking the square root of this gives us x to the power of 2 is equal to simply 2. Now if I take the square root again, I end up with x is equal to the square root of 2, which is what this is equal to. If you did not know that trick, that's fine. It's something for you to use in case you don't have a calculator. Let's move on to C. In C, we have x to the power of 5 is equal to 125. Now, to find the answer to this equation, you'll take the fifth root of both sides. So I'll take the fifth root of this side, and obviously that will give me simply x. But if I take the fifth root of 125, let's see where that will take me. Shift this button. The fifth root of 125 is equal to approximately 2.62. 2.62, and that's the final answer. Lastly, in part D, here we have three terms. So just like before, I'm going to take this term over where I end up with 5x to the power of 3 is equal to 16 plus 2. 16 plus 2 is 18. 5x to the power of 3. Divide both sides now by 5. 18 divided by 5. That will not give me an equal output. Now, I'll take the third root of both sides, so the cube root, essentially. If I do it here, and if I do it here, this 3 and this 3 will go away, giving you simply x. And on the right side, well, let's use our calculator. The third root of gives me approximately 1.53. So there you have it. That is how to solve equations containing rational exponents greater than 2. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.